r slash ask reddit what are some moments in movies that made you go up it doesn't work like that an explosion nearby and everyone talks and hears fine i love that scene and the other guys about this every time they perform cpr in a movie bonus points if the victim wakes up immediately and is totally fine and talking frantically shouting taxi while hailing a cab I heard a woman do that the other day and it shocked me because no one ever actually says that out loud like that. Uh, there was a scene in the G.I. Joe Cobra movie where they torpedo icebergs, and then they sank. Yep, yeah, ice doesn't change its density to be heavier than water just because explosions. I have the perfect scientific explanation for this. That movie sucked. Pretty much any scene where there's some magic computer program that turns blurry, heavily pixelated images into razor sharp photos? Yep, yeah, that doesn't exist. When they pull the fire alarm, and the sprinkler's set off, when a lighter sets a sprinkler off, it will, and all the heads go off. Each head is independent of all others, and set off by heat. Can also be set off by running into it with a scissor lift. Cough cough. Looking at you drywallers. When a baby is born and it's a beautiful, squeaky clean 3-6 month old twice the size of a newborn. They are tiny, goo covered, swollen purple aliens IRL. There's an episode of Royal Pains where a girl gives birth and this child they decided to be the newborn is, I swear, literally a toddler. It's so bad I can't even be angry it's just hilarious. The extent that people can get punched in the face and just keep going. No one is having Jason Bourne style fights and able to keep going for as long as they all do. Jack Bauer, dead for 4 minutes, jumping rooftop to rooftop 17 minutes later. Or the classic Hackerman, 5 seconds of rapidly pressing random keys, typing something that's not even into any kind of input, pop-ups appearing faster than the human I can follow, I'm in. Colon 15 seconds of keyboard clicking, I'm in. Now we have access to all the super secret classified government files and can control anything that runs on electricity anywhere in the world. Back in the day the N64 game Perfect Dark had a website and code that let you hack into the system to get top secret classified government information. Well I went to the website and put the code in. It takes you to the game site but up in the top corner it gave an alert message saying something along the lines of hacker detected tracking location. Immediately turned the computer off and ran to my parents crying saying the police were coming to arrest me and it took quite a bit of time to explain what happened. It was just the silly gaming website. Have never lived that one down. Dot. Okay bye. Pretty much any scene that involves biologists. Look. The DNA is a perfect match. As the computer superimposes two identical graphics that are basically just the symbol for DNA. DNA. And the fact that it takes them a few seconds to get the results. I watched a movie once where geologists ignored signs of a massive natural disaster. Blaming it on sensors. Tell me if I'm wrong but I feel like real scientists don't hesitate to double check. If they don't trust their sensors, why use them? Avalanches. Particularly when someone gets buried and then just bursts out of the snow unharmed. Avalanche debris sets like concrete, you're not getting out without help, and most deaths injuries occur from being bashed up during the slide, so you're not likely to emerge unscathed if it's big enough to bury you. As far as I know, trauma occurs from terrain traps, not necessarily the size. In NA most deaths are from trauma whereas in Europe, where above treeline terrain is much more accessible, fatalities are typically deep burials. Also, Sound triggering avalanches is a big one. When someone cokes the hammer on a Glock. Also the racking the pump action shotgun after pointing at your enemy and talking for a while. Wait, it was T-loaded the whole time? Basically any time they show lab work being done, they either don't wear PPE, or they do wear it but don't wear it properly, or for the right things. Food beverage chewing gum in a lab is a big big no. If some character in a drama TV show walked into my lab demanding results, the first thing I'd do is give them safety glasses. Pumping the shotgun every time you mean business. You're just ejecting fresh shells into the floor. Especially when it's a break action double barrel shotgun. Characters making perfect sentences without stuttering or making pauses. 
It always takes me out of the movie when say someone will be like you'll never believe what's on the news. Put it on. Their TV is off. They turn the TV on. And it's on the exact station of said news crew. At the exact moment they're talking about I said topic. That's not how it works. And it could be anything. Not just news. They turn on the TV and it just so happens to be on what they're looking for. Just a small aspect of television movies that takes me out of it and I'm always like that's not how this works. LOL. When someone shoots 1000000000000000000 bullets with a single magazine and a pistol but then it runs out when they have an actual shot at someone. The protagonists and antagonists fighting on the streets and not giving a shit about thousands of people dying while the cars explodes and buildings falls. Prepare for your doom. Generic man. Wait. There are civilians here. Let's evacuate them first. Shit. You're right. If someone is falling. And say Superman catches them. They're actually ducked because the forces involved are still going to tear them apart. Superman would have to catch them and decelerate them over time. But this almost never happens. He just catches them. You also can't just lift an enormously heavy object. The object has to have the structural integrity to remain in one piece. All that pressure at one point. Superman's hand. Would make the object break apart. Edit. Okay. Superman was just the first example I could think of. And they happen to have explained it. It happens in lot of other things. Particularly the whole catching someone who's falling thing. Not a movie but in the show you when he gives that guy the latte with nuts in it and he drops dead less than a minute later. Now, nah, it takes a bit longer than that. It would be a much longer, painful demise. This is the same with people being shot in the abdomen. A bullet to the abdomen is usually the slowest way to die. It can kill you. But not in 2 minutes while you say goodbye to a loved one or finally give up that crucial bit of info you've been hiding all along. One that always gets me is when medical professionals shock a flatline heart rhythm. Our hero is beaten. Stabbed and shot. Next scene he wakes up bandaged in the hospital. Within seconds. He yanks out all the tubes and wires. Jumps out of bed. Finds his. Suddenly clean. Clothes. And rushes out to continue his quest. In the next scene he's full of energy as he pursues his foe. And while his face may have a single scratch or bandage cut, usually above one eye, there's no sign of what would ordinarily be a yellow purple swollen pulpy mess with blood red eyes. When hackers just spam random letters to hack. Open command prompt, change color to green. Random prompts, hacking. 90% of the depictions of women going into labor. It's rarely mom feels fine all day, suddenly has one sharp contraction. Water immediately breaks and makes a puddle on the floor. Everyone I know who's given birth has had at least a few hours contracting before the water breaking. If it breaks at all. And then it can be even longer before you're in active labor. In Interstellar when they have combines running through a field of green corn. They spent a ton of time getting little details of astrophysics right. Then fell flat on their face in the depiction of farming. All the movies with science babble in them. Or tech babble. All of them. At least it's pretty funny. Just stick dark energy or quantum physics somewhere. The quantum dark energy is spreading to his ass. Hacking is babbling about I'm in and you always have to trace the source I'm pretty sure. I'm in his hentai collection. Tracing the sources now. There is no cleaning up before or after sex. Everyone is just ready to go all the time. To add to this comment. What are supposed to be virgins having sex for the first time? Each ducking time. Penetration gasp of ecstasy and they automatically just good at it. No awkwardness at all. Like what? Just about every movie where anything does anything in space. I can count the exceptions on one hand. Ships burning prograde into re-entry. Maneuvering hilariously close. And 99% of the time burning in the wrong direction. Imagine an action movie where everyone runs into the big fight shooting themselves in the head as if that would kill their enemy. It's painful. Any CPR scene ever. After 10 seconds of barely any depth to the compression and slow CPR, the person is revived. It's a miracle. Which, it would be. Almost any scene involving someone being shot or stabbed. A sling will fix anything. The movie 2012. Just like, all of it. Well, 
Amanda Peet could have moved on after divorcing John Cusack, that's a possibility, but the rest, no. Telling co-workers to cover your shift on the fly like okay like I don't have to run it by the manager and the manager doesn't have to do a whole bunch of computer shit beforehand to fix the hours up. There's the trope of people in advertising having to stay late around the holidays, rushing to finish up the holiday campaign for the new client and having to choose between their career and their family. Yep, that would not happen very often. In reality the holiday campaign would have been finalized quite some time ago after months of planning. Back and forth with the client, reviewing layouts proofs, etc. Around the holiday season we would most likely be working on planning stuff for the spring summer of the next year. Without going into full detail, when I was stopped and cops handcuffed me to take me to the station, no one said you have the right to remain silent, yada yada. Most explosions, I was in ammo and it ruined most movies for me, they're still fantastic movies and I love them all, but when a building explodes you're not gonna walk out casually barely beating the flames, and those thousands of pieces of wood aren't all going to magically not impale you as they're hurdled all around you with incredible force crawling through air ducts. Most aren't that big, or they aren't that strong to not bend or break at all. That thing where a tech lab procedure suddenly takes half the time because someone offers to pay more. Uh no. If it needs to be centrifuged for 24 hours it's still going to take 24 hours even with 100k on the table. Also not as jarring. But everyone always wakes up with perfect makeup and no one ever seems to clean their face. I refused to see the movie Lucy because it was based around the myth we only ever use 10% of our brain. Like, no we don't, we use the whole thing. We cannot just unlock our brains with fancy tech or drugs and suddenly have telekinesis and shit. Every moment in 99.9% .9 of all romantic comedies. Every time someone brings the gun up to our level and you hear the rack slide. Example a bunch of police cars roll up on a scene and everyone gets out using the car door as a cover. It's more of a troop, but the idea that one person designs security systems, like in Die Hard 4, one genius supposedly designed the computer network for the FBI or whatever and left back doors, and no checks on him or his software, just blind trust in some random stranger. That's not how computer systems are designed, especially for government agencies, and no one person could manage the scope either. Firearm discipline in almost any movie, TV show, no one asked how to correctly clear a room, really? And Jesus Christ your gun just swept right across your partner's head, why? My dad was a pipe engineer for 35 years, every time he watches the Titanic, when Jack is handcuffed to the pipe. He has to point out to everyone in the room how the curved elbow pipe in the shot didn't exist at the time. The correct setup should have been two straight pieces soldered together to make a corner pipe. I love him and his obscure dad facts. Every movie scene where anyone is using a chainsaw, they don't start from cold with just one pull. They need a little while to warm up. And you sure as shit can't cut through flesh and bone without ducking that chain up real good. Looking at you. Evil dead. The big ass computer room in the basement of the airplane where 6 special ops soldiers can hide. They would sell seats down there if there was that much room. Sorry if someone has already commented this. I didn't want to scroll through all of them. Chloroform. It takes several minutes to knock you out. And you won't be out for that long. I promise I know this because we use chloroform to clean stuff in the lab I intern at. And my advisor told me this. In case the FBI is reading this. In the opening of Prisoners, he is hunting deer in PA before Thanksgiving. Every single movie where somebody dies and then someone closes their eyes, and their eyes stay shut. I might get some down votes for this, but in John Wick 2 in the subway when John and Common are shooting at each other stealthily with silencers, that's so ducking and realistic. That shit would have been so loud, and echoing throughout the subway station. Whoa. You made it to the end, you're a ducking beast, I'll cut you a deal, smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh, it's free and that's a great price.